So we're here in the Intel drone zone, or whatever it is they're calling this thing. It's a little side room here at the exhibit next to the uh, gaming center out there. And they've got a bunch of really cool stuff going on here. And you might be asking yourselves, well, hold on a second. I mean, does Intel even, like, make processors for drones? Well, no. Maybe not directly, at least, yet, but they've certainly got a uh, heavy investment in this technology. I mean, both directly, like with money, like the 60 million that they just announced that they put into Unique, which is a drone manufacturer, as well as indirectly. So here's an example. This right here is a, oh, it's bolted down. Well, oh, no, it isn't. Oh, it's just stuck to a, Yay! This is a DJI Inspire 1, and one of the things you might need, you know, oh, I don't know, a pretty powerful processor for is the built-in camera here. So that's on a three-axis gimbal. It's also got three motors, so you can actually control that with a controller right there. And you can see in our uh, lovely Vanna's uh, hands there, we've got the application running on an Intel-based tablet. This gives us a high-quality, low-latency video feed from kilometers away, potentially, thanks to some of the very advanced wireless technology that is being used for those video feeds. I mean, yes, the consumer-grade stuff might use Wi-Fi, but that is, that is not, <clears throat> not the only thing out there. And Intel's also got some cool stuff coming with Edison built into drones to make them so Edison's so a little tiny, little, little tiny CPUs, uh, Edison built into drones that uh, we don't know much about right now, but uh, who knows what's coming in the future. But that's not the real reason I'm here. No, the reason I'm here is to uh, get a chance to win a Core i7 processor. What is this? Ooh, a 5960X, really? They're giving these away? Just like that, eh? All right. Well, at any rate, uh, what you have to do is navigate one of these little micro quadcopter bad boys. This is a protocol something whatever it doesn't matter so the point is I'm gonna try and navigate this through three sequentially more difficult obstacles and try and do it as quickly as possible so here we go uh, where's that controller at yes all right wish me luck here guys this Good uh luck. didn't go that well last time and that's okay come on we got this we got this oh yeah looking good looking good yeah looking good okay all right let's uh, turn it to the left, uh, NASCAR style. Oh, oh, turn it to the right. Ah, 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 no, wait. Whoa. Okay, and then what? I can go through it at any angle? Any angle, all right. Well, then uh, up and whoa. Oh, oh, yes. Is that a successful run? Or do you have to land? <laughs> you have to, you have to. Oh, you have to land? Okay, let's try again. Try again. No, 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 no. Do over, do over. I got this, I got this. Okay, this is not as smooth a run. Hold on, I'm still alive, I'm still alive. Okay, come on, third time's a charm. Third time's a charm, oh, thank you. Okay, I just gotta go for gold here. There we go, all right. All right, where's my ring? Where's my ring? Where's my ring at? Okay, and then I just gotta come back? Come back and land on the box. Come back and, oh, on the box? Are you kidding me? That's sort of a box. Come on, link up. Yes. Oh, she's spinning on her own. She's spinning on her own. Hold on. We'll just cop it. OK, well, obviously, it wasn't me who uh, fell short here. So I think that counts there. All right, so thanks for checking out our look at the drone zone here at PAX Prime 2015. Don't miss any of our videos here at the show. They're all going to be like wicked awesome. Subscribe to Linus Tech Tips, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys on another video because you subscribed, right?